I am oozing excitement, oozing electricity all through my veins because of what's in that box right there. What I got in that box right there is one of my favorite comics I own. This box right here contains something amazing, something you've never seen on anybody's channel. What is in that box is a pure treasure. We're going to open it now and find out what is in the box. What is in this box? I tell you what, baby, this is awesome. This is awesome. So we're going to open this up. I saw this on eBay. I had to have it. Didn't have the money for it. Didn't care. Did not care one bit. I, I hit that bite now so quick down dust coming off of it i just hit it hit it and went with it i said i'll figure out how to pay for it later i gotta have it and what i got is this right here this comic is unlike any comic i've ever seen this might be a one of one the only one in the world i've never seen one probably won't ever see another and i knew if i did not buy this What's my chances of ever finding another? So I had to have it. Because when you love comics as much as I do, money ain't important. I mean, money comes and goes. But stuff like this, you got one shot. One shot. Figure out a way to make it work. Figure out what you got to do to make it work. They wrapped it good. I'll give you that. They, they wrapped it good. But what we have here, I was collecting comics, collecting my Hulk stuff, trying to figure out what I wanted. And, uh, you know, I was thinking, what Hulk stuff do I not have that I want? And there was no big books. But I was like, you know, I'd probably like to have a really nice Todd McFarlane Hulk 345. At one time, I thought about collecting all of the Todd McFarlane's covers. But I noticed that the bell of the ball when it came to the Todd McFarlane covers was 345. And so then I dug a little deeper and hunted a little harder. I was like, well, what if I got a Hulk 345 with a Todd McFarlane autograph? And I didn't want the T McFarlane. I wanted the Todd McFarlane. So I started my venture to find the perfect 345 Hulk Todd McFarlane autograph since he did the cover of 345. And on my journey, I came across something so unbelievable. So unbelievable. I mean, I think I do do it on myself. It was amazing. So I had to buy it. What we have here is a Hulk 345 with signatures all over it of the greatest, some of the greatest names in comic history. I mean, literally, we've got seven people on this comic autographed and five of them are dead. You're never going to be able to give them again. So they're not making any more of these. I mean, this book is one of the greatest books in my collection. I will never be able to get another one. And to have all these masters of the comic, all knowing this comic book was in all of their hands, all the masters that's touched this book. I mean, first of all, we got right here, we got Stan Lee, created the Fantastic Four, created Spider-Man, created, you know, you name it, created my favorite, the Incredible Hulk, created the X-Men, created everything. Stan Lee. I've got other Stan Lee autographs, but nothing like this with this much other stuff on it. I just got a Stan Lee autograph on my last Hulk 182. No, sorry. I got a Stan Lee autograph on my Hulk 102. Uh, but that is Stan Lee right there. I mean, created everything from the old days, if you think of them. Fantastic Four. Hulk, Spider-Man, X-Men, whatever you want. Right here inside it. You got Herb Trippy. Y'all know Herb Trippy. Some say Herb Trip. Herb Trippy was responsible for uh, 
he drew the cover to the iconic Hulk book 181, the second appearance of Wolverine. I mean, he also created Doc Samson, he, which is a Hulk character. He also created uh, uh, Betty Ross. He also uh, created Wendigo. He also created uh, uh, Captain Britain. Uh, he's amazing. Over here, right here, you have Lynn Wayne. Lynn Wayne, that's the creator of Swamp Thing. One of my favorite characters of all time. Also the creator of Wolverine. Wolverine? Mm -hmm. No, no, Swamp Thing, Wolverine, Colossus. He created a Storm. He created Nightcrawler, Thunderbird. All these creators. I mean, all these creations he created. Lynn Wayne. Then you got right here, you got Jerry Conway. Jerry Conway is the co-creator of The Punisher. He also created a lot of other stuff. I mean, he created Man-Thing. Uh, Jason Todd, Werewolf by Night, Killer Croc. Uh, what else did he create? He created a Tombstone. That's Jerry Conway, co-creator of the Punisher. Punisher is one of my favorite characters of all time, and Man Thing. So, double double whammy there. John Romita. I mean, you know what he's done for for Spider Man. John Romita is also co-creator of uh, a lot of things like. Uh, uh, Wolverine, Kingpin, The Punisher, Mary Jane Watson, Red Skull, Luke Cage, uh, Dick Ayers. Dick Ayers is the creator of the original Ghost Rider and Phantom Rider. And Dick Ayers also drew the covers for Hulk, the classic Hulk 4 and 5. So, I mean, Dick Ayers, all these people are tied to Hulk in certain ways. But Dick Ayers, Hulk ties on 4 and 5. Um, creator of Ghost Rider, amazing, amazing guy. Uh, let's see. And who's did more for the hobby in the last 30 years, 40 years than Todd McFarlane? He's did more than anybody for the hobby. He owns Image, the greatest comic company going right now. He owns, I mean, look what he does, the McFarlane toy line, uh, creator of Spawn, also the creator of Venom. Uh, without Todd McFarlane and John Romita, Spider-Man would not be where he's at right now. Uh, this book has so much history on it with all these names on it. Everybody that's anybody's on here. All my favorites from Punisher to Kingpin to uh, Hulk uh, to, you know, I mean, they're all here. Uh, what more would you want? I mean, Man Thing, Swamp Thing, and they've all got ties to Hulk. Look at that beautiful book. It's a 9.4. And up here it says that uh, it was signed by Jerry Conway and Lynn Wayne on 6-24-13. Then Stan Lee signed it on 6-29-13. So he signed it like the very next weekend. And then Dick Ayers and Herb Trippy signed it on 6-30-13. Then John Romita signed it on 7-1-13. And then Todd McFarlane signed it, and it's got the Todd McFarlane thing, so it must have been done at his thing. And next, I am getting Peter David on here. Peter David from Hulk. Peter David belongs on here. Uh, like I said, five of these guys are dead. The only two that's still alive is Todd McFarlane and Jerry Conway. You can't get these other guys' signatures anymore. And to have them all on one book, <sighs> this book is a piece of history. I love it. And I will keep it forever here at Dopetopia. So I hope you like what you see. This is something cool. That's what I like to do is go down rabbit holes. It all started with just a dream of collecting all of the Todd McFarlane uh, Incredible Hulk covers. And then it went to a Todd McFarlane autograph, Incredible Hulk. And then it went to uh, the greatest copy of Hulk 345 to ever exist. And that's what this is. This is the greatest copy of Hulk 345 that will ever exist. You're not going to be able to beat this. You cannot top this. It don't exist. This is the greatest copy of Hulk 345 that will ever exist. And I'm happy to have it in my collection. And until the next time, read your comics.